this is gonna hurt, buddy. Oh. <laughs>to the game where we destroy stuff we're playing some more tear down now a fun new update has happened and finally steam workshop is out no longer do you have to uh, manually install all these weird mods in shady places you can do it right from the safety of steam workshop so it's only been out for a couple days now but a few new uh, mods have come out so i thought it'd be fun to check it out first one i want to check is the cannonball mini game i'm always a big fan of these little mini games that they've been releasing and uh yeah we got a massive cannon and we actually got to destroy things that's kind of adorable all right so i get the idea we gotta destroy these glowy balls did i destroy that one yeah it's gone man and we have to use this very difficult to use cannon it's actually very fast but the recoil is what's really gonna hit me here there we go i'm getting used to it now Okay, getting all the far ones, the hard ones to get right now. This cannon, I want this cannon to just drive around on maps. It's actually really fun to use. God, this last one's giving me a hard time. Oh, there's one up in the tree I just saw too. First try, knock down the whole freaking tree. That's right. And we got one in this tree. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. I wonder if I can knock down this whole tree here. I'm going to keep it at the same uh, distance. Bam. Okay, I, I'm really good at getting the tree ones. All right, I think this is my final one. A little bit off. Wow. Okay, the recoil is what makes this so difficult because you have to realign every time. Okay, there's, there's got to be some inside the house because we're not done yet. We can get tips, but I don't want to get the tips, damn it. Oh, I see one. I see one. Yeah, there's definitely some behind the house. These cannonballs, I thought they'd do more damage. They really don't. Oh, I have no balls left. I didn't even notice I had a certain amount. Damn it. Oh, the double. I got two doubles actually now. Oh, okay. I got that one. What, what do I have left? I have 13. I don't see any. Oh, that, that would be smart to zoom out. Okay, we have to Hail Mary one in the back. A little lower. That's it. Come on. I think I knocked it down the tree. Where the hell did it go? Okay, it fell. Where, where the hell's the last one? Oh, you know what? I see it. It's behind this wooden structure right here. <gasps> All right. Is that it? Come on, it's in the structure. Am I supposed to shoot the structure? Okay, there we go. That one's, that one's safe. There we go. It only took me two minutes. All right, and this vehicle is probably before a lot of your times, myself included, but who can mistake the Knight Rider? This is the KITT 2000 version. And yeah, if you don't know what the Knight Rider was, basically this is a futuristic car that talks to you and it has all these little fancy gadgets. And yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is probably the most impressive vehicle in this game so far. KITT for easy reference. The kit if you prefer. Okay, so we got a cockpit in here. You know what I'm going to do? I have my FOV a little high. And yeah, I definitely want to actually see the screen here because we can actually use this thing. First of all, this is simple, but this really impressed me. The, the MPH actually works. And there's a lot of things that are changing on here as I go. We also just have a screen here saying the version. Let's actually go out to the outside right now. We have these front lights. So we have bottom like fog lights, but actual front lights as well. This thing's also, I mean, just to begin with, extremely fast. Let's try the rollover protection. That was rollover <laughs> protection. That was just rollover. Wait. Oh, okay. So, like, it flips you if you do roll over. I wouldn't really call that protection. The grip toggle is what I wanted. So now it should be way more sticky. And wow, it actually really is a little hard to control. But everything is in this game. We also have a boost. Oh, God. Okay, but we actually have this control panel that I can use. Uh, and there's a few things I can do in here for the time being. Um, silent mode. Yeah, let's turn that off. That gets annoying. So, yeah, unfortunately, a lot of these are not working. I wonder if the eject will work. What? Oh, the roof. That Yeah, that, that, that would be smart. Thanks, computer. All right, so I think now my roof's up. So can I eject <laughs> myself? Injection enabled, select preferred direction using mouse and exit vehicle when ready. Okay, let's go that way. <laughs> That's so cool. Then we have pursuit mode and normal mode. Pursuit mode just puts it a little lower on the ground. There's like so many cool things here. Now, the coolest thing is you can actually load in your own songs if you want, or just use the ones in teardown and it will actually play them. So what should we do here? Heist? Yeah. There we go. And it's playing it. Dude, this thing is so neat. So I think that's the majority of it. We actually have thrusters. You can stick to the ground. You can fly. Oh, God. Okay, this is actually good because we can use the rollover feature now. 
Oh, okay. And then it can also even lean if you need to, you know, do any sort of uh, driving tricks when you go on two wheels, you know? I definitely can't do them. But yeah, we basically have a robot car in Teardown now, and it is fantastic. I just love this cockpit the most. Like, all of this stuff works, and that actually blows me away. Once again, the junkyard has been updated with one of the coolest-looking vehicles I've seen yet, and that's impressive considering every episode lately there's been a new vehicle to check out. But look at, look at this. Look at it. Well, this just gets me damn excited. So, yes, we have a, a wrecking ball, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I already broke it. Damn it. Now, unfortunately, playing around with it, uh, it doesn't have multiple speeds. I think it should, like, the, um, the, the other machine over to the left of me. But what you can do is kind of churn with it. And this thing's really good at churning. And you can really get up some serious speed with it, as you can clearly see. Going in! <laughs> yes. And yeah, once you get good with it, you can really get this thing going. As you can see, maybe it doesn't need a speed boost, honestly. As, as, as long as you're turning this right, you are good. All right, come on. I want to hit this. Oh, unfortunately, I got stuck with the damn vehicle. I'm running into too many vehicles right now. Oh, there we go. Come on, take it down. I didn't even notice there's a damn monster truck up there. That's great. Let's, let, let's, let's try the other way. And this is going to be it. This has got to be it. Dude, this thing is heavy. There it goes. Not the best knockdown, but hey, I'll take it. It does take a little bit of skill to get good with this thing. And recently, we've been blessed with, uh, well, time control. Yes. Oh, it's still lagging a little bit, unfortunately. I was hoping with the time control, it wouldn't be so bad. But yeah, you can actually change the speed of this too. Unfortunately, it zooms me in as I do this. Dude, that is just so cool, though. I'm so glad we have slow motion, finally. Whoa! What the hell? Why? I just got out of it, and it's going so fast! Uh, I wonder if I could jump something into it. I think there's a jump over here. Oh my god, it's going way too fast. It's going too fast! I don't know how I broke it! I'm not even paying attention to where I'm driving. It's gonna flip itself! Look at this thing! Oh, there we go. Just took that out. Dude, this is dangerous. Okay, I hope it still stays up. Dude, look at this thing. God, I can't drive this thing straight. There we go. Hit me. Oh, that's not even close. Hold on. I must try again. Come on. Oh, unfortunately, I ran right into it. Oh, no, it broke. I, I was just getting set up. It actually broke itself. I don't know how I did that. Oh, it flipped, actually. <laughs> that is great. Yeah, trying to replicate it. Unfortunately, I can't do it, so I don't know what I did, but I must figure it out one day. All right, I'm always looking for new giant towers to destroy. This might look basic, but it might be one of the coolest to destroy. Let's try something basic first, like a shotgun. Oh, oh that already started it. So, yes, this is a fully dynamic tower. It looks like it's built by rings of these, possibly. But I've seen some crazy images of this thing wobbling like crazy. We might need to go a little bit bigger. You know what? Let's go for a bomb here. And I'm going to slow this down. There we go. So, yeah, if you like just pleasing destruction, I think this one's going to be for you. It's coming down. Oh, and there we go. We have the bending. So, yeah, it's built in like rings it's actually really really cool i want to go on the inside and see how it works kind of hard to tell but i'm assuming these are all possibly tied together with like metal beams or something because you can see they're all kind of attached but it's very very wobbly Let's try something with a little more umph here we have a quake 2 rail gun uh this should go well i want to topple it from the side <laughs> oh my god yes dude i love the uh trajectory of this thing too it's in a spiral so damn cool. And it's just crumbling under its own weight at this point. Oh, dude, this is so fun to destroy. It actually has a little bit of weight, too. Most things in this game don't have any weight at all. This, it actually feels like it could crush something. We do have a couple humans and whatnot here. I guess we could try and crush one. All right, and there she goes. I think I'm just going to let it go. Please do it first try. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, what happened when I hit slow motion? It destroyed the whole thing. It actually changed the trajectory. No, it was going so well. All right, let's not slow it down this time. This is going to hurt, buddy. Oh, 
He's totally fine. Okay, it is the vehicle version. I don't know if it's invincible or what. That clearly had some weight behind it or it wouldn't have damaged itself so much, but that was that was pleasing anyway, so I'm not even mad that it didn't destroy it. Okay, I had to show you guys this map. It's just, it's a beautifully detailed map. It's not the biggest of maps, but as you can tell, a lot of time and love have won into this thing. I don't know what it's in reference to, by the way, but yeah, it's called Outpost. And it's just, oh my God, these things bend? I didn't even know that. Um, so there's weight bearing. Also, when I started to destroy this map when I was testing it, the, um, the walls have, like, metal inside them. And it just makes the destruction so much more pleasing. I, I, honestly, I'm sure a lot of you guys know what this is in reference to. I don't watch a lot of movies, if I'm honest, so I'm assuming it's some sort of movie, but I'm very intrigued by what the hell is going on here. Well, we have some sort of gold over here, too. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of weapons I wanted to try out here. We have the hook shotgun. Oh my god. <laughs> you can actually hook with it and pull. Oh my god. I on this is amazing actually. I never actually saw this one. I just randomly downloaded it. And <laughs> this is so cool. For some like city maps, this would be so fun to use. Oh god, don't hurt myself. Yeah, there's some really cool weapons coming out. We also have a railgun here. Oh. Oh. How long do I hold it? Oh god, the lag. <laughs> We also have the physics gun from Gary's Mod. Oh my god, it actually works like it too. I haven't played Gary's Mod in a long time, so I don't remember how to shoot or anything. I wonder how... I mean, you can hold some big stuff with this though. Oh, dude, this could be really fun. Maybe not on this map because this thing's invincible. <laughs> but I want to try this on other maps now. All right, this looks a little more destructive. Welcome to Fernway City. Now, um, there's not much around here in terms of things I can throw. There's a couple vehicles here, but I just want to have some fun right now. Oops. Uh, okay, let's go grab that. <laughs> I didn't mean to let it go. Ah, there you are. What are you doing? Oh my god, this is... This is such a cool little tool. Alright, so I have figured out that you can actually throw these. There we go. <laughs> Look at that shot. Now grab it. It's gonna destroy itself. There we go. Nice catch. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually surprised how it's not lagging at all. I thought, considering how much damage I'm doing, it would lag. It looks like the, um, time scale ruins physics, unfortunately. But that's okay. You know what? Yes! Yes! Can I use this? Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. That's a little more like it. Oh, God. I can't even turn without destroying everything. All right. I want to chop this building in half. Shoot! And slow down. Because we are going to lag. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, it got vaporized in the process. Oh, there we go. This is why I love slow motion. I am just mowing this thing down. Let's shoot it. I want to see if I can grab a whole building here. If I can knock this thing down. <sighs> it's still up? Come on. I guess I got to get that foundation down. What the hell is falling down there? <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. I now should have control. Oh, really? Was it just this bottom floor? <laughs> You've ruined me. I thought I had it. Come on, the whole I want the whole building. Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot get the beast to come down, but I have realized something. This gun has some crazy recoil. <laughs> oh, this is also great for this. Whee! Dude, I, I need a city map now where I can just do this. I can be Spider-Man. All right, guys. And on that, I think we'll wrap up this episode of Teardown here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out some more crazy modding that's been going on in Teardown. And yeah, Steam Workshop's out. That means I think there's going to be an even bigger modding community. And I am so excited for that because it's already been impressive. But the ease of access has never been easier to download these mods. So I feel like mod uh, creators are going to want to build more now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as always thanks for watching and liking guys and i'll see you in the next one